before we get started, I'm going to have you introduce yourself a little bit, but we were talking about this uh, post-COVID thing a little bit. For a second, yes. I just wanted to mention that because um, I think a lot of people are going through it and don't know it. It's really crazy. Um, I talked to – you were the first one where – well, I, I talked to a couple buddies and we kind of all came upon it at the same time. I told you one of them ended up having a heart attack and the other guy got better. And then but you're the first person I talked to where I was mentioning what it was. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I think that's what I've been going through. Right. Yeah. Yep. And did you realize did you put it with COVID or did you just kind of know you were going through it or did you put the two together? You know, I, I question it. I mean, it's all been kind of suspicious since, you know, uh, summertime this, this year. Um, Kenny and I have been, we live in California where it's obviously um, popping over there with COVID. So <laughs> we, we had to do a move in the middle of May and um, we really hadn't seen anyone. And my sister came into town in July and stayed for four weeks and we still were pretty isolated and whatnot. And uh, we went to Tahoe for the weekend and when I came back, I, I didn't feel quite right, just fatigued and whatever else. But I was feeling what one would assume could be COVID, but I wasn't actually, like, very ill. Right. Um, so I got the COVID test, and I got a negative test, and so did my sister. Um, but I had all these random symptoms that would point to I probably yep. had a very uh, mild asymptomatic case. I had a, a mm -hmm. rash around my eye. Yeah. Um, standing. It's my first sitting. thing, too. I had a sty. Yeah, like out in, like at the same time? Same, yeah, right when I first got my all my symptoms. Yeah. Yep. Which is just weird. And it, it, it came out of nowhere. I was watching TV and I looked over and Kenny was like, whoa, what's wrong with your eye? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> um, but, you know, that was kind of the extent of it. I was really fatigued and tired for like four days. And then um, I felt better after about three weeks. But after ever since that happened and i was like well it was a negative test so i can't actually mm -hmm. confirm that some of these other things that are sticking around and it's not all the time it it comes and goes i had an episode on thursday where yep. i was at the grocery store with my soon-to-be brother-in-law and we're bagging groceries and all of a sudden i turned ghost white and i was like i feel like i'm gonna pass out I thought i was gonna throw up i was like you have to drive home and i basically came home had a massive headache i slept for the next eight hours yeah. And I woke up feeling way better, but it, my blood pressure was like through the roof. And so scary. <laughs> it just comes on. And then the next day on Friday, I was like, oh, I'm totally fine. Right. But, and, and, you know, that's what most people <laughs> that are having this, what you just went through, uh, that I've been talking to, and then I'm on Reddit, like nonstop. Mm -hmm. uh, that's exactly what they're, they're seeing is that um, they had a very light case. Most of them didn't know they had it. Or if they did, they got a negative test. And then you have this... <laughs> elevations of blood pressure or heart rate randomly out of nowhere. Um, and then, uh, you know, some people are having it really low, but that's exactly what we're seeing. And <clears throat> my situation was, I know just the heart thing first, because I, if I might've had COVID a month before it, no clue, no idea if I had it or when I had it. Right. And then, um, and then I started going through this heart stuff and then I, <coughs> I was laid out for, a month where I had nausea every day and fatigue and, and just couldn't move, couldn't get out of bed with the heart stuff. My heart was stopping. They said, like I told you four times a night for like seven seconds. And, and uh, then I'd have the high blood pressure, went to the ER, took my COVID test, took two of them, both negative. And then uh, <coughs> I took an antibody test. Mine was negative. Kim though, took hers just, and I was going through this and hers was positive. We'll see. <laughs> and, like, it, and she felt nothing, sense. nothing. Yeah. No, no. So I had to have had it, of course. So now everybody's going through this thing. And and then um, I was telling a guy, I was, uh, I'm the chairman of our tree committee and I was telling him about these symptoms and he's like, Mike, talk to me about this. Same exact thing you're talking about. He, he, he every ra random, he's like, I'm looking at my computer, my blood pressure rises. I feel like, Oh my gosh, my, my chest hurts. Um, and it goes way after a little bit, but he's like, I was thinking about going to the ER, uh, you know, which I had. And some people have gone I, on Reddit. I see people that have gone six or seven times, you know, I mean, literally six or seven times over the course of 10 months. Though these people, some people have been suffering since like last 
January and February. That's, That's crazy. So um, I had my last, <laughs> my last episode, I think was Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday night. It's and the weirdest thing is, I told Anne I blame her. Not really, but it's because it's like I got to take her to volleyball practice, and it's those nights that I'm driving her to Eastgate. I'm like, holy crap. And that's when they come on. It is. It's crazy. (laughs) So it's one of those things where it's random. I think mine are about once every two weeks, though, on a Thursday or Wednesday, Um, but about, I guess, two weeks apart now. But yeah. um, And I don't know if there's a, I, I don't, I haven't had one since I had the vaccine on. Friday and I'll tell you I had the vaccine on Friday and awesome that's amazing I talked to you what last two, two Sundays ago, ago yep. and I was still sick I was still not fatigued um I mean it was still bad and and, and I had that vaccine Friday and since then I think it did something I really do. I mean, that's the other thing. I'm on Reddit too much, but uh, th- a lot of people are seeing that that this is doing something. That, that maybe it's just the, a kick in the butt to your immune system to finally get whatever's out of there. But I I literally went from being, you know, sixty percent and feeling good about being sixty percent, honestly, yeah. to probably ninety to ninety five percent now. I mean, I'm actually wow. have a drink. Yeah, I have a drink for the first time since Thanksgiving. Well, and, uh, I mean, that's I think amazing. the vaccine did. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Oh I know. I was like, I told Kim, I'm a little worried about relapsing here, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but it's working. So I just wanted to talk about that, and, and I'm going to put that on the thing, just because I think there's a lot of people out there that are going through this post-COVID syndrome thing that yeah. don't know what it is. It's it's affecting their hearts, um, but it's all related, and I think the medical community. Some of them are starting to come around, uh, but I just wanted to kind of to kind of touch base. On of that. course. Well, I mean, it, for me, it, it helps me realize that some of the things that I think I'm experiencing in the moment, I'm, I'm one of those people that I'm always taking care of everybody else. And then when it comes <laughs> back to me and I'm like, I think something's going on, but I'm not going to say it out loud because I don't want to like worry. It's like, I don't want mm-hmm. people to worry, but also it's like so many random things and at random times where you're like, is this actually happening? Am I making, yeah. am I being a hypochondriac? Um, you know, is this something <laughs> like this a silent killer and I'm just going to be dead in my sleep? I don't know. Right. Um, yeah. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Uh, like the, the, the time after, you know, I went to the ER and then you pay what 900 bucks. And then the next time it comes again, it's like, I'm not going <laughs> I don't care how bad it hurts. I don't say a word to Kim or anything. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm either going to die or, but I'm not going to go back to the ER. Cause, and the other thing too, is that they look at you and, and, a lot of these people are just getting sent back. I mean, I've had, I've seen four cardiologists. I've had, um, I've had another MRI and a sleep doctor and all, it's just been nuts. With Uh, with all inconclusive kind of like. Everybody's saying you look good. You look good, but they can't see it in the big picture because like you said, these things are coming on once every, you know, week or two. Yep. So, um, but hopefully we're getting, I mean, hopefully yours are getting, more i don't know are they are they still pretty frequent or i mean uh, this past thursday kind of came out of nowhere but um you know they happen at random times and i'm not mm-hmm. doing a lot of things we're, we're cleaning out uh kenny's mom's house now and so there's like underlying stress so i'm like am i stressing myself out and that's what's triggering mm-hmm. it or does it truly come out of nowhere is it because i too salty of food some nights i have no idea no so, i think it's um, out of nowhere i've tried to just like dictate what what's happening like in a journal good and say it's happening on this day and um try to connect the dots but so far no dots so no. No, this is really the only, yeah. but i was happy to i mean not happy to hear that you're experiencing the same thing no but, like, but it makes you feel better that i'm not crazy yeah yeah no you're right no that's what the biggest thing was was i was in bed for that long and i had my good buddy maddie going through it which and, and dave and you know one had a bad experience the other but that really did help me. I mean, it really did. Even though when I'm online, there's very little, <laughs> and I'm talking to doctors, they don't know anything, but just knowing that, okay, I'm not crazy, that this is happening to other people. Right. And now if you get on Reddit, holy moly, I mean, it's a tidal wave. People are going nuts like, hey, we want we want you guys to figure this out now. Right. The World Health Organization met on um, February 9th. And they're calling it post-COVID condition, but they're putting it out there to kind of get doctors 
um, to kind of look at it. So. That it exists. And, oh, by the way, COVID definitely isn't a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> hey, In case yeah. you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those damn people. Eye oh, roll. God. 